people there most really good tech jamo so man got invited to this lenovo event thing just the last week it's called the mix master studio yoga plus amd event and they brought me there to show off their new lenovo yoga slim 7 pro x laptop now if you cast your minds back a little piece on my channel man reviewed the last edition of the lenovo slim 7 pro yoga tablet thing whatever it was called now the event was pretty much vibes i can't even lie they allowed me to bring in two of my plus ones so i bought two of my favorite creators man like dave's basket and man like ron's tech hub you can find out more about their channels in the links in the description section you're done though now two twos they had a little bar there with a couple two two drinks and a couple two two little food snacks thing no big boy food though so i was kind of disappointed but anyway i know you man are not here for the food you're here for the laptops and thing like that innit so let me drop specs on you yeah for this lenovo yoga slim 7 pro x now we're talking 14.5 inch 3k display with 120 hertz refresh rate get me AMD Ryzen 6000 processors, the newest thing that they've got out. DDR5 6400 MHz RAM class. PCIe Gen 4 SSDs, same thing that's in our, the PlayStation 5s. 100 watt USB-C, PD charging, 1080p webcam, and an RTX NVIDIA 3050 inside, coupled with the Wi-Fi 6 fam. There's a lot of power in a small package and i can't lie when we were all playing around with the thing the laptop was lively it was snappy it was responsive the screen was looking hella peng and all around the event there were different exhibits where people were using the laptop to do different content creator workloads one brother was using it to do some kind of stitching thing another one was using it to stream um couple people were using it to do some processing and some rendering of a 3d model the laptop looks like it was doing its thing however you guys already know me i always want more fam like it's sick that there's an nvidia rtx 3050 but why are these guys not pushing it to a 3060 the inner gamer in me yeah boy you know man will be playing out some games and then going back to the content creator workload after man is done but it's gonna be a little bit of a stretch with that 3050 in there not to mention they're aiming this laptop at creators yeah us creators we use memory cards please tell me why there's no memory card slots in the laptop itself you want man to go and get a dongle you're taking me for one dongle, brother. Is that what it is? No, no, let me not get vexed, yeah? Furthermore, remember, this is an AMD thing. Now, I know AMD cannot be tested when it comes to their price to performance value. However, with the Intel variant that man reviewed last year, the Intel brought with it Thunderbolt. You understand? Now, when you've got a laptop with very few ports, Thunderbolt comes in clutch in connecting you to every Ras Clark thing you need to collect yourself to by just plugging in one thing. With the Thunderbolt, man was plugging in external GPU, monitor, external SSD, headphones, microphone, webcam, just with one plug cuz and you don't get that with AMD. So yeah, you're gonna have to be a dongle warrior, as I said, and you're not really gonna get that gaming performance that you could possibly get if they had a 3060 in there. 3050 is okay for the type of gaming performance you're gonna get from a device this small and thin anyway, because remember, heat needs to go somewhere, and right now it's like 40 degrees in the UK, so it's all mad. But anyway, no, this laptop is looking sick. I hope I get my hands on it to give it a little full review thing. And um, yeah, big shout out to the guys at Free Monkeys and Lenovo for inviting common person like me down to have a little hands-on with the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 Pro X. Man, remember the whole model name. I'm gonna end the video there, you're done now.